हे ब्रॉन सुमित दिसाइड इफ यू एफर विजिट यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम इन ऑफलाइन मोड यू बी सींग दिस पेज विच इज कनेक्टेड इंटरनेट यूर इन ऑफलाइन मोड प्लीज चेक यूर कनेक्शन सो दिस इज बेसिकली कस्टम ऑफलाइन पेज राइट बट इफ यू गो टू नेटफ्लिक्स डॉट कॉम इन ऑफलाइन मोड यू बी सींग दिस ब्राउजर डिफॉल्ट पेज लाइक नो इंटरनेट एंड देन यू कैन जस्ट प्ले द गेम द सेम हैपन्स फॉर जियो सिनेमा हुई इज वेरी पॉपुलर इन इंडिया दिस ऑल्सो सोज द ब्राउजर डिफॉल्ट पेज नाउ द पॉइंट इज हाउ यूट्यूब इज एबल टू लोड ऑल दिस डेटा इवन हुन देर इज नो इंटरनेट कनेक्शन And this is because YouTube is using some of the advanced part of web browser. It's using cache and the service worker. It's using cache to cache all these offline assets in browser cache, and it's using service worker to intercept the page request on page load. If something goes wrong on page load, it checks if the user is online or not. If the user is not online, then it sends all this data from its cache to the web page. It's very interesting and very advanced part of web browser. So, this is what we are going to make today, and this is also one of the most important. question for front end system design so if you are preparing for front end system design by the end of this video you'll get to know exactly what is browser cache how can you use service worker to make the user experience better okay so i've already created a project on react using vite just a simple react vanilla project okay so first thing first what is a service worker well if you just go to chrome dev tools for any particular website and click on application click on service worker here you can see all the registered service worker for this particular website so i have only one service worker here so sw.js click on that and you can see this is just a simple javascript file right so again what is a service worker a service worker is a, is a background script that runs in the background wow what a definition well service worker is a script that runs in the background of your web browser separate from the web page this is very important separate from the web page it can access cache which is important it can intercept page requests which is also important man everything is important service worker is a script that runs in the background of your web browser separate from the web page and it can access cache it can intercept page request it can run some of the functions in your web page even when the user is offline so it's very powerful i think deadly powerful okay and what is cache Cache is just a simple storage where you can store media, you can store any files. For example, you can store any offline dot HTML file. For example, oh uh, yeah, it's just a simple storage at the end of the day. So now we need to register the service worker because not all the browsers support service worker. Like not, I mean the modern browsers support service worker, but not the old browsers. Okay, so for that, oh uh, I just need to create a simple service worker file. I'll just go to public folder and create a service worker file. I hope I'm recording service worker dot js and why public folder because you know like all the folders all the files and folders inside the public folder are hosted as static. So for example, if I just go log hello and then I go here, let's say this is yeah three thousand and I can just go service worker dot js and I can just get my hello file right. I mean this is just a basic of web development. Okay, so now uh, what can I do? I can just go to main.tsx and here I here I can register the service worker file. So if service worker is available in the navigator, if service worker come on copilot do something navigator, what should I do? On page load, I need to register this service worker using navigator again. So window dot add event listener navigator dot service worker dot register. Yeah, that's it. that's all i need so register is a promise i believe yeah so i can use then and on success i can just log uh, you know service worker registered and if something goes wrong i can just catch it also and log the error so i'll just go to 3006 i'll just go to application here and see my service worker is registered hello and if i just go to console i can see service worker registered Yeah, clean the console, refresh again. Service worker registered. Go to application, and my service worker is also registered here. Awesome. Okay. So now what? How service worker works? Well, service service worker uh, can listen to some of the events. For example, fetch, uh, install, activate, and on and just like any other event listener, you can actually pass a function, pass a callback function for that particular event. So, for example, I can access the entire service worker using self. So, self dot add event listener. Let's say, oh, uh, install on install. Oh, please copilot stop it. Okay, console log installing service worker, and then let's say self dot add event listener uninstall. Yeah, 
uh, something like register once the registration is done uh, I can just log something oh come on copilot yeah registering service worker and the most important part is fetch I can do like add event listener fetch and here I can actually intercept the fetch request very powerful a uh, log log come on log so fetching event the request.url so particular resource okay let's see uh, just go here and here's one important thing that I want to show you just uh, refresh here you can see uh, installing service worker is there but registering service worker is still not there it, and that is because the service worker is not yet updated if you click on the service worker.js you see this is still the old file so for that if you click on this keep waiting it will be automatically up, instantly updated okay so now you can also verify this here now go to console okay and clean this and refresh you should see the fetch yeah fetching all this thing correct service worker registered fetching this fetching blah blah so the base is ready right next what we need to do we need to create a simple offline.html file okay so i just create a simple offline.html file and then on install of the service worker i'll just create a cache for that particular offline.html file or for all the offline assets and we'll put that offline.html file in that cache okay let's do that oh uh, first thing first i'm going to create a simple offline.html file inside public and we'll just copy paste a simple offline.html file because you really don't want me to write a HTML file, right? Come on, I'm a senior front end developer. Mm. Okay, just go to service worker. Uh, I can just access the access the cache using cache and then cache.open. Here I can just pass a cache name. You know what? Let me just create two constant variables. Constant variables, so constant values. Const cache name. Uh, offline assets and the second is offline url offline.html great and now here i'll just create the cache name and dot then i can just add the offline url that's it uh, i'll just return it in fact you can actually use add all and then here you can pass an array and I know this is better in terms of scalability so i'll just make it an array okay the next thing is you can actually use then and here get some feedback like log you know cache added great and if something goes wrong you can again handle this using cache and say uh, error adding to the cache great i don't need the cache so it's fine and now i want to do one thing i'll just copy the entire code and we'll pass in a function called event dot wait until okay so what it does it tells the service worker file okay, hey don't mark the installation process as complete until i finish all my job so now i'll just go to local 3006 i'll just go to application i'll click on this update and i'll click on skip waiting so that it instantly updates now i'll just verify this yeah it's great go to application and click on cache storage yeah this is already cached right and this is the cache name like offline asset and you can see this is scoped to a particular domain so local 3006 and if you click on this offline.html file you will actually see this offline file this is awesome and i can also go to console and yeah i can check service worker registered fetching installing installing service worker cache added and all okay now the second part and that is if something goes wrong in our fetch we need to send the offline URL, right? Okay, so what are you going to do? We are going to intercept the page request, right? As simple as that, but not all the page request. We are going to intercept only those page request which has a type called page load because only on page load we want to check, right? Okay, you know, something goes wrong or not, not in between the uh, life cycle. So, and then what, what are you going to do? We are going to fetch that particular resource from our service worker file. If everything is good, it's good, no problem. But if something goes wrong, I can handle this in the catch blog, right? In the catch blog, I'm going to check if the user is offline or online. If the user is offline, I'm just going to send my offline.html file back to my web page. As simple as that. Okay, so if the event dot request, I don't know why there is no suggestion. Dot mode is same as navigate, it means 
it's a page load event right in that case i'm going to respond with my own fetch so event dot respond with come on event dot respond with here i'm going to pass my own fetch so fetch just pass event dot request so this will take care of this so if everything is fine everything is fine no problem if something goes wrong i can just catch this so catch error okay so here i'm going to check if the user is online or not so if the navigator dot online is false in that case i'm going to handle this else i'm just going to throw the error right so throw the error so that my nearest and nearest error handler can handle this okay so here i'm going to check if the offline is offline url is there or not so return cache dot open i just pass my cache name here then if the cache is available then i just grab the cache this auto completion is so disturbing here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to return the cache dot match my file so offline url that's it i think yeah this should do the job so i'm just intercepting the page load event i'm responding with my own fetch if something goes wrong i'm just handling this here okay let's see uh why some yeah i don't need this function for now so i'll just go to application we'll click on service worker i'll click on update and then we'll click on skip waiting okay so now i'll just verify yes it's working fine i'll just go to network uh, before that i'll just refresh yeah, everything is fine now i'll just go to network and click on offline and now i should see my offline page pay, offline page this is working okay so that's all for this tutorial i hope you have learned something if you have any doubt you can just please comment down and i'll try to clarify that apart from that like this is one of the one of the advanced part on web development that you can do uh, like there are a lot of things that you can do like if you want a part two of this video uh, please let me know apart from that do subscribe to my channel uh, and see you in the next video bye